Really? E liquid. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey everyone, so um doing a review for a company called Really E Liquid. Okay, so they're kind of a uh, new player on the market. Uh, they have a range of e-liquids and they do kind of ego style start kits. Um, I've got their website up on my phone, so I'll take you through that in a minute. I'll do the reviews first, um, let you know what I think of those, and then I'll take you through the website. So let's start off with what I've got. So they've given me a watermelon. Um, I've also got a cherry. And I've also got a strawberry. Okay. So we got, you know, three fruity vapes, um, pretty standard, they're not complex, you know, what you see is what you get, so, you know, they're not trying to tap into that market, um, so it's good, you know, good standard, normal flavoured vapes, good things. Okay, let's start with the actual tasting. Two Sigelis, 150 watt Mutation VX, um, sorry, Mutation XV4, and a Dodge V3. Okay, I've re-wicked them both. So nice and fresh. I can actually get the bloody thing off. There we go. There we go there. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the watermelon. Start with the okay. I'm vaping both of these at 90 watts and my cool builds at 0.2. Okay, let's just get the watermelon first. I actually do vape around three milligrams, not usually eight. So these are obviously gonna be a little bit strong for me. So I um, just wanna point out straight away. Um, the watermelon itself, very nice, uh, very watermelony. It's not even a word. Um, it tastes good, it's okay. Um, I did look on their website and I couldn't find out whether these were um, 50-50s or max 3Gs. Um, it doesn't seem to say it on their website. Now, I don't know if I'm just being a blind sod and I can't see it, but I, it's, there's nothing on the bottle to indicate that, and I couldn't see it on the site, so I'm going to hazard a guess and say it's 50-50 because I get that throat hit. But again, it could be the 8 milligrams. I'm not too sure. But in terms of the watermelon, it's nice. It's okay. It's quite nice. It's not the strongest watermelon in the world. You can definitely get the taste of it, which is good, but it's not the strongest in the world. Um, that's either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you like your flavours. I like mine really punchy and strong. Um, but for me, that's okay. It's not too bad. Next, I'm going to go with the cherry. There we go. Get a little bit on there. Cherry's all right. It's not my favourite cherry in the world, um, but it's okay. Again, it's not very strong to me. Um, I get the taste though, but I just don't get that overwhelming taste of flavour. Um, but again, that's probably because I do my own mixes quite high in uh, concentrate. But again, as a cherry, it's not bad. It's okay. Like I said, these are not complex flavours. These are very straight up what you see, what you get flavours. And I know some people will like that. Um, I think they're okay. There you go. Um, right, next, let's do the strawberry. Strawberry I'm looking forward to because it's my ultimate fruity flavour. It's my favourite out of all of them by far. I love a good strawberry. Let's see if this is any good. I'm actually quite surprised at the strawberry. Um, Taste-wise, it tastes really good, and it tastes to me like a ripe strawberry. Difference being is there's a lot of strawberry, like strawberries and cream, or strawberries and peach, and you know, strawberry vanilla, whatever. But for this, it doesn't taste artificial. It tastes like a really ripe strawberry, and that's a good thing. It's tasty, give it that much. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. I like it. Like I said, um, these are... Bog standard kind of flavours, you know, strawberries, watermelon, there's nothing complex, and if you like that, then you're actually gonna love these guys. Um I'll take you through the bottle design now. So actually I'll tell you what, overall I like the juices. Um 
you know, they're not they're not really standouts. That's not what they're going for. They're kind of going for bog standard flavors, and they basically hit the target every single time because you know what you see is what you get. So yeah, thumbs up on the juices. Not bad. Uh, bottle design, um, as you can see, you've got the branding very clear. You've got the really e liquid. Uh, the website is www.really-e-cigarette.com. Um, bottle design, yeah, plastic, 20 mils, pretty standard. Um, in terms of kind of what's on the bottle, you've got you know toxic if swallowed, very toxic in contact with the skin, keep away from children, which is good. Um, it's got a flavour on there. It's got the strength, eight milligrams. It expires on the first of the attempt, 2017, so that's really good. Um, it's got the address of the company, really global. Uh, limited um, and this is based in London but the liquids are made in China um, again there's no born on date oh actually there is actually tell a lie so this has got batch 27th of March 2015 and expires 27th of uh, March 2017 so that's pretty good I like that so it's got a born on date and it's got an expiry date the only thing it doesn't have in it though is the PGVG that's quite important when you're kind of selling your liquids because we need to know. Um, and if you don't have it on the bottles, you should have it on your website. And I can't see on the website, so I'm going to double check it in a minute. But um, yeah, bottle design, yeah, pretty standard. Um, it's got everything on there apart from the PGVG mix, which you'll hopefully find on the website. So there you go. That's the bottles. Let me bring up this site here. So again, the website is www.really-e-cigarette.com. Um, prices, so the old price was $9.99. They're doing 20 mils for $6.99. Um, and on strength, they've got extra high, 24 milligrams. They've got high, 18 milligrams. Medium, 14 milligrams. And they've got low, 8 milligrams. I personally think they're missing the trick with um, only going so low as 8. I think a 6 caters to all markets. Um, well, as much as you can. For someone like me on a three, um, I would use a six, um, but they only go so far as an eight. So is that a mistake? I don't know. You, the consumers, would be able to tell them that if that's the case. Um, website's really easy to navigate, and they've got quite a lot of deals on here. Uh, they've got price breaks. The more you buy, the more you save. Um, and they seem to always have lots of deals going on on their website. So, um, yeah, if you're after a good deal, you want to get a good batch of um, e-liquids, or you want to get some gear from them, then check out their website. Um, other flavours they do, they've got apple, cherry, watermelon, banana, blueberry, grape, peach, pineapple, strawberry. Um, they also do chocolate, coffee, cola and energy cow. Never heard of an energy cow before, I guess that's like a red bull. Pretty cool. Um, also, as I mentioned before, they do these kind of ego style kits. Um, I didn't actually get one, so I can't review it, but the kind of ones they've got, okay, they've got 650 mar. Kind of tanks and they've got the batteries to go with them and they've got a good range of, um, of them and you know got some reasonable prices on there as well and they're kind of showing you as well what the previous prices were and also what they discount them to so that's pretty good as well so you kind of know what you're paying for um overall i like the website it's very very clean it's very well designed i give them that much um, and they've also got their social media links um i like it it's not too bad um, as a whole, I like really e-liquid. I think they're pretty cool. Um, if you want to check out all their deals and prices, and again, go check out their website, www.really-e-cigarette.com. Um, I'm Darker Vapors. If you like my reviews, please get in touch. Um, you can find me on Twitter, and again, you can find me on YouTube under Darker Vapors. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers.